Welcome back. We are live from Los Angeles, and I'm so excited to welcome to the show on Hashtag Wealth Wednesday, Melissa Carbone. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me on the show. First of all, congratulations. 10 years. Thank massive you. success with LA Haunted Hayride. Yeah. yeah, it's incredible. I, I, I still like pinch myself. I can't believe it's been 10. I feel like I should be in year two right now. <laughs> so, so tell us about it. So you have a haunted place. You come and like do all the scary things for Halloween, right? Is that what it's all about? Uh, yeah, more, more or less, yeah. So the LA Haunted Hayride is, um, at this point, we've grown into a 30-acre um, Halloween attraction in what? the woods at Griffith Park. So um, wow. super unique. Like philosophically, I think the you know the LA Haunted Hayride was meant to be something different in this marketplace. You know, it was um, we have giant amusement parks and we have some great production value um, for Halloween attractions, but we have nothing where we can take Los Angelinos, throw them in the woods at night, and annihilate. And right? this is what it looks like. <laughs> wow. wow! I mean, some of these performers are just spectacular. The costumes, the lights, the sounds. I mean, it is a full scale production. Wow. It's like stepping into another world. It was like going into the nightmare before Christmas, the Halloween land. And it, it was honestly, I didn't even feel like I was in Los Angeles. That's, that's it. Like that, that is the, that nth degree of like suspension of disbelief that we, we try to like achieve with, with all of our live attractions, but that one in particularly, like that is a world. And it's not just a hayride. You mm -hmm. had the trick or treat land. Mm -hmm. That was so cool. Tell us about that. So trick or treat is um, one of our other one of our other scare zones. It's another part of of the LA Haunted Hayride. So LA Haunted Hayride, as an all encompassing term, is four zones. So there's the Hayride, which is the 25 minute um, you know ride through the through Griffith Park, um, and then trick or treat is our own kind of um, dystopian suburbia that we created. Oh, um, and you go and you knock on doors, and people answer them, and they will trick you or treat you. <laughs> oh, my um, but everything is very thematic, and um, you know goes through the narrative of of the year. Um, that's that's one zone, and then we have another one called the House of Shadows, which is our our blackout maze. Um, it is, I think, still the only true dark maze in um, in all of California where you actually have to use your hands in front of you to find your way out. Wow. That was a mind uh, twist. Wow. I'm not yeah. gonna lie. So yeah. How long, how long yeah. this is a business that is obviously right for this month? How long does it run for the month? Well, the whole entire month of October, we're wow. open 20 nights um, throughout wow. October. Mm. Yeah. At 30 acres, how did you even get your hands on 30 acres? It wasn't easy. We were the very first ever private public partnership for the Los Angeles Rec and Parks um, for the city. So that um, was no easy feat. Obviously, a city the size of LA, there's a little bit of red tape. <laughs> little. Just a little. Um, so it, it, you know, it took a long time, but we, um, you know, we worked through it because we had the support of the city council and um, of my district, which is District 4. and. The uh, LA Rec and Parks, you know, there are a few, you know, token people there, Vicky Israel and Joe Solisis from um, the city who just were really believed in this idea um, with me and wanted to, you know, help move it forward. And we did. And now, you know, it's our home. Is there anything that you learned about branding in creating the Hayride or maybe remembered or re was reminded of? For sure. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. I mean, I think the thing about branding that I um, I, I kind of that is my, my navigating, you know, North Star is um, is to you know, bust out into the world like you're Disney, right? Like for me, it's never like the, the term like dip my toe or start small. Like I would like rather gut myself than start anything <laughs> small. So when, so when someone is like, you know, we're going to, we're going to start small. I'm like, well, you just lost me. Right. Aww. So for, from a branding standpoint, I think, I think the way you introduce yourself to the world is what they'll remember. Right. And then I think from there, everything is either yours to, to win or lose. And so for me with the LA Haunted Hayride, it was year one. We didn't have a lot of money. You know, it was me and my partner at the time who um, um, were, you know, corporate American born and bred right out of college. So going into this weird, unstructured world was was interesting and um, scary. But I knew that if we were going to launch this, it couldn't be, you know, an ad in the back of a local L.A. publication. So we, we secured the funding, just pounded the pavement, created like some really non-strategic partnerships. And um, we were I mean, all over this town. We had billboards. We were on the back of buses. You know, Ryan Seacrest in the morning was talking about us. K Rock was talking about us. I'm Kevin. Like we just we had all of that girth of um, of of that kind of promotional and marketing support behind us, so that when you saw us out on the street, it wasn't like oh look at that like mom and pop new little cute haunted house popping up. It was like, what is this? You it's know, like you it couldn't existed escape it for a million years. I mean, it started. Yeah as an icon. Yeah, it, it did start as an icon. I love that, actually. I'm going to swipe that from you. <laughs> I'll, yeah. I'll give it to you. I mean, yeah. It's interesting you mentioned the red tape. And as a female entrepreneur, it seems as though you are just cutting right 
through that. Where did you Thank get you. that from? Where did you learn this mindset to be such an incredible businesswoman? You know, I don't, I, I don't know that you can learn that. You know, um, I think, I think there's like for me, I, I call it like my freight train. Like I get, I get um, taken over by this like freight train mentality when I, when I think of something or um, I'm just very compelled, right? So. Um, I don't. I don't think it's something that I've learned. I think I've always had this um, this freight train mentality, whether it's good or bad. I mean, it can it can work against you sometimes too if it's not in the entrepreneurial <laughs> space. <laughs> um, so but but for me, you know, I think I think the thing you can learn or or kind of um, become more comfortable with is is the fear of failure, right? Like I think I think the fear of failure is so crippling to so many people. That they never even they never even jump like that idea never even comes out of their head it just stays there and it's never realized right it's just it becomes this thing that never lives and breathes outside of your head and I think um, I think once you you do jump or you do activate or you do take that first step whether you fail or not I think you become more comfortable with the process right like I've had a ton of uppercuts mm-hmm. to the jaw along the way and those things were probably um, my best lessons and my best teachers because now I'm not so afraid of that anymore. And when you're not afraid, you know, of the punch to the gut, then, you know, I think you, you take a lot more risk. Or you can just go to the haunted house and get all your fears out. So <laughs> maybe, it maybe, it's scares right. it all maybe I've just so, become unscarable yeah. at this so point. So yeah. tell us where, where people can find the tickets and everything online. Um, LAHauntedHayride.com mm-hmm. will have tickets and all the information you could ever want. Um, very easy process. Very excited. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go check it out. My son's Please. grown. I would definitely, but I'm, I'm ready to take this on as a team. Yes. yes. We should go do You're this. Yeah. Absolutely. And yeah. gear up for Tailgate Fest. Tailgate Fest, year two. Yeah, we're, we're going to hit that pretty soon, too. It's it, my my second venture. It or, will be America's biggest and best country I mean, music fest. I, I believe that. I believe Tailgate Fest will be uh, the biggest country music festival in America. Wow. Oh, well, Soon. I, I can't Soon. wait to celebrate that. I'm going to bring my boots, babe. Please, <laughs> bring your boots. Absolutely. Get a truck, and tra- pop some tops, drop some tailgates in your boots. Yeah. Oh, All right. Thank you so much for being Thanks with so us. Of course. Yeah. Really excited. Thank you. Stay Thank tuned. You. We'll be back with more on Good Morning Wildland.